five reasons that you do want to own in Trump Tower in Las Vegas, Nevada. So let's get into these reasons, but at the end of it, I'm also going to tell you which side of the building you may want to be on, which side's preferred, which side's not so not so good, <laughs> depending on what you like. So let's get into it. The first reason that you definitely do want to own in Trump Tower is future development. So this is kind of part of the location. Let me bring you into Google Maps and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are in Trump Tower, Las Vegas. This is, I mean, an iconic building that you can see from pretty much anywhere, especially when you're on the freeway going right past over here. But if you're going around, and I'm gonna go straight up, this to give you some bearings, the Wynn Las Vegas is over here, Encore is over here, the huge Wynn Golf Course, of course, and this is, uh, if you ever go shopping, you go to the Fashion Show Mall in Las Vegas, it's absolutely massive, and it kind of looks like a cruise ship. You see how this kind of ovals out here? It's kind of made to look like a cruise ship from the inside, which is kind of cool. Uh, but future development, this huge vacant piece of land right here is definitely gonna be the site of something really cool at some point. I absolutely know it, and from what I understand, the Wynn and Encore, the Wynn company owns this area, so you know it's gonna be a really high-end corner still of Las Vegas Boulevard, which positions Trump in a great location to be able to take advantage of the wealthy people that are coming through and prices to increase over time. So that is definitely something that I would consider when I'm making an investment here in Las Vegas and why I would definitely consider uh, purchasing in Trump Tower. Now, the second reason is Good security. I absolutely love, uh, and actually, no, hold on. I take it back. I take it back. I don't like their security because it's annoying. <laughs> Every time I go there, even if they know me, and I've gone in multiple days in a row, they will still be by the elevator saying, let me see your card. You know, can I see your room card, your room key? And so then I can go and access the units I need to. It's a great security feature, uh, but of course, I'm there all the time. So I'm like, okay guys, you know me. <laughs> and they're like, I don't care. Rules are rules, which is actually really good. I mean, it really is. I, all jokes aside, their security is really good. Their staff is absolutely amazing. And not even just how they act with you, which they act fantastic. I mean, they're so pleasant, right? But even down to their uniforms, this is, this is cool. I, I really like this community. Now, going into the third reason why I would purchase and why you do want to purchase in Trump Tower is actually going to be, it's a true luxury hotel. Now, true luxury. There's a lot of towers out there or a lot of hotels that are trying to be, you know, high end, but they're not really there. And quite frankly, they're lacking. Uh, but Trump Tower, if you're actually coming here on vacation, or if you're going to a second home, this is a really nice place to land, right? So going through who I said before, their staff is fantastic. Their, even their outfits are so like, it's high end, it's old school high end, it's fantastic. Now, but I wanna show you what I'm talking about here. Now let's get into actual units. Um, I pulled up, this is the MLS. So this is all the units are currently available on the MLS and let's just click into this one. Of course they have the hero picture of the tower, right? Okay, cool, right on. Uh, but look at this. The build, the custom build outs, how the room's oriented, the, the neutral colors, it's not trying to be dated in like a few years, it's not gonna be dated. This thing's luxurious, it's designed correctly, and I mean, I've slept on these beds so many times. I've been to this hotel numerous times. When the developer was actually selling units there, um, I would get, you know, I would sell units and they say, hey, thanks for being a good broker. Um, here, have a few nights on us periodically. And so, you know, I'd be sitting in this room in the morning, enjoying my coffee and chocolate strawberries that they gave me, right? And looking at the amazing view. <laughs> so this is really a comfortable bed. Um, it's a good a livable space for a vacation. And, um, you know, I don't know too many people that live in the studios full time, but there are definitely people that live in the one bedrooms full time. Um, it is, it's nice. These beds actually, or these uh, couches, pull out into a bed. You do have your mini bar area, your microwave, and a hot plate over there, as well as the sink uh, for the wet bar area. So these are true luxury. And uh, hold on, don't even take my word for it. Look at these bathrooms. Look at these bathrooms. You have really nice 
large spacious areas, double vanity to get op uh, to get ready with, as well as the jetted tub and um, these huge. Um, I mean, it's just nice. You don't feel like you're lacking for space, I guess, in uh, in the bathrooms. And then um, this is actually a view, right? View from that unit. That's just pretty cool. Uh, now the third, sorry, the fourth reason why you definitely do want to own in Trump Tower, which I think is probably the biggest. And it's, to me as an investor, I mean, I put an investor hat, I put on like a, you know, just a fun buyer hat, right? As an investor and someone who wants a good place to live, you know, when I'm there, their values are absolutely undervalued in Trump Tower. And now I know what you're thinking, Maybe it's undervalued for a reason. Is it poor quality? Is it anything like that? No. Um, I think, in my own personal opinion, it's just the stigma of the brand from our president, right? Or our previous president, Mr. Tr president Trump. Um, besides that, this is an absolute stellar community. And there's two things. I think that if you do purchase this, you may have a real play in brand changing someday. That could be a real possibility, which could just, I think, shoot up prices pretty good. But let me show you what I'm talking about with value. So let's take a look at this. Even at this unit that I was just looking at right here, we're looking at this on the 18th floor, you're right above the pool area, $269,000. So we went through all these pictures already. You went and saw you're right above the pool. You have this direct strip view, which is awesome. You have Neem, uh, Nordstrom's right in front of you because you can just walk across the street and you know go go shopping or go to their e-bar and grab a coffee. You have the uh, huge uh, this the sphere, which is amazing. I don't know if you guys have been there yet, but you have to absolutely go. This is directly from your room. This is on the 18th floor, and look, it's only two hundred sixty-nine thousand dollars. Like that is so cheap, in my opinion. Right, in my opinion. Um, next thing, let's go up. Let's go up to here. Let's go to this one, and it's on the 26th floor. Same orientation. Of course, here's some lobby shots, and of course, it's gorgeous. Right? This is not like they're you know skimping on their quality here. They are really maintaining their units. Um, I found their staff is actually pretty very attentive. So taking a look at this, I mean, I'm sitting in this living room. You can sit on that couch, and you're looking directly down. Las Vegas Boulevard. The views are astounding. This is a low floor. You can go up to the 64th, I think, in this tower. 64 floors high, which is unheard of. It's the tallest building in Las Vegas um, as of right now. I think I think Fountain Blue potentially may surpass it, but I, I, I have to confirm that. But as of right now, this is the largest building that you could own in and uh, had this amazing strip view. So undervalued, in my opinion, to the tents completely undervalued for this. And then let's drive that point home real quick. Um, I want to, so, okay, yeah, on the 26th floor, let's look at that. So 26, 27, it's on the market right now, direct strip view, $278,000. Let's look at this history of pricing in here. So when I say undervalued, I mean these units I feel are still drastically undervalued and have a lot of room to go, right? Um, even with the current state of our real estate being interest rates are to the moon or to the moon, <laughs> I, in my opinion, I believe in the next 18 months to two to three years, basically, you're gonna have really low interest rates again. I just think it's gonna happen. Um, you may have a different opinion and that's just fine. This is just my gut. I mean, I'm not an expert in interest rate and monetary policy, but take a look at this. Look at the history on this unit. It was bought in 2008 for $600,000. A studio with a strip view in this tower, to $600,000. And it was sold bank owned to 100 uh, for $160,000. And then it was last sold in 2013 for $262,000. This building has not really appreciated since then. And I think that it's completely undervalued. Look at this. It's $262,000 in 2013. That was 10 years ago. Right now it's $278,000. So something's there, not not right there, right? So if you're looking at it, I think it's undervalued. I think it's way better product than some of the other studio uh, hotel condos uh, on the strip. It's just, 
it just has a brand stigma in my opinion, which I think is good for you for being able to have a good product at a low cost, low entry price in general. Um, now, I know I've kind of touched on this, but the number five reason why you definitely want to purchase in Trump Tower, if you're going to be an owner occupier and you're coming to Vegas, one of the things that I want in my hotel room or my home or vacation home would be a view. The views in Trump are absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you what side of the building you want to be on, what side you don't want to be on, and uh, which ones are more premium up price and then less, right? So let's get into this and I'll kind of explain what we're seeing here. You've already taken a look at what the view is um, from these units. So on the pool side of Trump, you're looking directly down Las Vegas Boulevard this way. This is literally Las Vegas Boulevard right here. This goes here, it kind of curves right there, but then it goes straight, shoots straight, and that is what Trump Tower is lined up with right here. So that view, everything on the front side of this building is an amazing strip view, all of these right here. So, and if we kind of look at the building, you're gonna be looking at studios from here to there, and then a one bedroom and a one bedroom. And then here, one bedroom, and then a one bedroom, and those have the most premium price, right? The most premium price right here, and actually probably the most expensive one bedroom is this 07 stack right here. That one actually has um, strip view, but then it also, let me zoom out real quick, you will have a great corner view of the uh, win and encore. So super killer corner view, and you're looking directly at the sphere now, of course, which is really cool. Now, looking at the edges of these towers, this east, or sorry, west side of the tower, you do have two studio units right here and right here that uh, look directly at the mountains. These are probably the least valuable units that you have that are in this tower. So right there, just because they're looking directly at the mountains over here, you don't have the glitz and glamour um, of the strip. You're looking out into the city. Is it a bad view? No, but you get mountain views and everything like that. But it's, let me tell you, it sells for the lowest pretty much all the time. So if you want the lowest cost of entry, that's definitely gonna be the stack you're gonna be wanting to be in. Now, the next part of this, if you want a one bedroom, you want the cheapest one bedroom, right next to it, this stack and this stack will be the cheapest as well. It's the only ones that don't really have a direct strip view. Um, all the other corners of this can have a strip view and can be reasonably said that's a strip view. But this one, this, this stack is the most lonely. <laughs> and then second uh, studio, the second least desirable studio, uh, I guess if there's four sides, this is gonna be the third in line. The fourth is this side over here, these two that direct mountain views. Now this, all these studios that are in here, this will be the second uh, to worst, I guess, <laughs> views. Because look at this, you are looking, um, if we turn this building around, uh, when Resorts World over here, this great product over here, when this was being built, we were like, man, people are gonna be buying this north side of this building and have a bargain and get a great view. But when it actually shaped up, you really didn't. Because look at this, you're looking directly this way, you are looking towards the industrial areas right here, and then past. You know, you're not actually getting a great view. So when you are looking through here, you actually have to crank your head to the right a little bit to be able to see you know, any kind of a hotel. That's not really a view, right? So that one, you're gonna get value studios on that side um, over there and value one bedrooms, no problem. And it's low cost. Now, the second best side of the building, right here. This unit is absolutely prime. There are studios right here um, going from the top, let me zoom out here. Zo going from the top to the bottom in this stack, there are studios right in the middle here. You do have a one bedroom, corner one bedroom here, and a corner one bedroom here. Again, going back to what I said earlier, this corner one bedroom stack right there is gonna be the most popular and the most expensive. This 08 and 09 studio that they have, at the end of the room number, it will say 08 and 09. That lets you know it's on this side of the building and check out this view. I feel like it's an undervalued side. You usually don't get the price appreciation that you have on the strip side, but look at this view. You are looking at the Encore and Win and the golf course. It's absolutely fantastic. When I'm in it, I'm like, strip view all the way, this is great. Um, but the most premium side is everybody wants to be on this, sorry, not this side, but let me see, the south side right here, right above the pool. So you got the pool side, all the south side, these are all studios. This is the premium side of 
Trump Tower. And if you're buying there, chances are you may want to purchase in there. And looking at the values that we saw before, you can get a bargain with a direct strip view. I think we just showed it, it's $279,000. That is so cheap. <laughs> 278, 88. I, people like to put all eights at the end of their numbers. Maybe they think it's lucky or whatnot, but I don't think it helps anything. Um, hopefully it does, but it, I don't think it, I mean, personally, I don't know. But uh, pricing structures are different everywhere. But look at these, look, I mean, look at this strip view. You're laying in your bed and you're looking directly down there. I absolutely love the view. For 279,000, you can't go wrong. It's luxurious. So that is the top reasons why I've heard from my clients as well that they wanted to purchase in Trump Tower. Now, if you have any questions, please reach out, call, text anytime. And of course, I would love to represent you for any property in Las Vegas, whether it be high rise, single family, or of course we do commercial real estate. If you're looking for a warehouse right now, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's gonna be tough and you're gonna have to pay a lot. Those are so tight right now. Office space, a lot of easier. <laughs> anyway, um, here we go guys, have a good one and we'll talk to you soon. I'll see you on the next one.